And now let's meet the Hawaii Rainbow Wahine first the reserves. Number one, Ginger Long. Number two, Kayla Goodman. Number three, Christiana Tuaninga. Number six, Courtney Lele Polly. Number seven, Taylor Higgins. Number 14, Sarah Mendoza. Number 15, Ashley Castle. Number 16, Kayla Kawamura. And number 20, Tatiana Ponce. Now for the Rainbow Wahine starting lineup. A 5'6 senior libero from Littleton, Colorado. Number four, Ellie Longo. A 6'3 freshman opposite from Honolulu. Number eight, Nikki Taylor. A 6'4 sophomore middle blocker from Orlando, Florida. Number nine, Jade Forster. A six foot sophomore outside hitter from Hilo, Hawaii. Number 10, Ty Manu Oliva. A 5'8 senior setter from Long Beach, California. Number 13, Mita Uiato. A 6'2 senior outside hitter from Los Alamitos, California. Team captain, number 17, Emily Hartog. And a 6'1 junior middle hitter from Ho'olihua, Molokai. Number 18, Kalei Adolfo. Volunteer assistant is Kaleo Baxter. Assistant coach, Robin Amos Santos. Associate coach, Scott Wong. Head coach for the Rainbow Wahine, Dave Shoji. It's a storybook matchup. The Cougars of Brigham Young, they of the big block, featuring the sweet swings of Alexa Gray. The University of Hawaii Rainbow Wahine on their home court, led by Big West Player of the Year, Emily Harton. BYU, UH, NCAA, OMG. Here are the Hawaiian Tell FCU starting lineup. They will scroll across the middle of your screen. You are looking at Alexa Gray. Career high 27 kills last night against Arizona State. These two teams very similar in record. Hawaii 25 and 4 on the year. And BYU 23 and 6. The winner will be a member of the Elite Sweet 16. Serving is Cambrai Haddock. Haddock with 18 kills last night against Arizona State. She serves. We are underway. Longo to Uyato. Back set. Step out. Adolfo. And Adolfo gets it through the block. Khalid. Adolfo starting where she left off last night on the step out. Very efficient last night. So Uyato to serve. one nothing Hawaii just underway in the first set. Godfrey. Godfrey with a dump shot that works. And we are tied at one. Godfrey just a go-getter, only a sophomore. Catherine Lashamanant serving. And right there is Nikki Taylor. And Taylor at the corner. 
Taylor that. gets her first kill. On the play, it actually looked like it came off of Taylor. The block, if you watch this on the replay, it looks like it hit Taylor on its way out. Nonetheless, Hawaii will get the point. Mongo will serve. Godfrey. Ball is picked over by Young. And that goes down in front of Hartung. So we are tied at two. Jardine comes into the game. She's in the middle for BYU. Uyato short set ball. And trying to get the ball over. And let's see what the uh, call is. Forster just snuck that ball by that block, I believe, in the front court. So Forster will be credited with the kill. Hawaii leading 3-2. Serving for Hawaii will be Mendoza. She has really come on as a defensive specialist. There's the first hit by Gray, blocked in the air by Forster. Here's Uyato, and that ball is hit long that time. By Nikki Taylor. Yeah, Nikki Taylor hit the ball long. She tried to go over the block. Yeah, trying to, you know, sometimes with a big block like that, you're a little fearful of it. Instead of earlier, she got stuff blocked, but hit a little long that time. Uyato Forster. Forster got it over and down of Withers Welling. And that's really what you want to see a quick middle. Establish Forster early in the middle. Establish the middle early so you can go high into the outsides later on. Hawaii leads 4 3. Godfrey. That ball Young, and it's blocked out of that time. Off the Hawaii block. That's a point for Brigham Young. And we are tied at four. And serving will be Parker. Sierra Parker. Number 14 to Libero. Off the top of the tape, and that's saved by Longo. Hit over. Off the top of the tape and down. That time by Mendoza. Sarah Mendoza getting a back row attack, and she went right after that. She took a full swing, but credit Longo on the serve received, just going in out of nowhere, and Mendoza striking for a kill. Serving will be Lele Pali, one of the seven seniors. Courtney Lele Pali from Waianae. Gets the ball in. Outside it goes. Blocked by Adolfo, but it goes out. The ball was hit by Haddock. Haddock had 18 kills, as we mentioned. She had three aces in last night's game against Arizona State. So we are tied at five. Neither team has been able to get the advantage to any great extent. And serving will be Anna Roberson. Roberson. Kicks it into the net. Service error. Hawaii now leads 6-5. First set. And Emily Hartong will go back to serve for Hawaii. Hartong, the Big West player of the year. All-America first team. Dug up by Parker. Godfrey. La Chaminade gets the ball over. Back set. Ball is hit over by hit over uh, uh, that time by Taylor and had it pounds it off the Hawaii block. And BYU really having some nice defense hitting high off of the hands of the Hawaii blockers, tooling the ball very well, not trying to get kills, but just hitting high off hands for points. Whitney Young serves. Step out, Adolfo, and they block her. Adolfo, low into the, the tight, tight set there. Alexa Gray on this, seals the net very well. A huge block on Adolfo, sealing off that line. Attic serving, overpass. The ball is hit over, but blocked back by Uyato. Gray hits it back over. Uyato tries to dump, doesn't work. Parker is there. Ball is hit by Gray, that'll be returned. Ball goes into the corner. The ball hit by Olival. Gray, Gray is blocked by Adolfo. And you gotta love the fire in Adolfo after she blocked that ball. Take a quick look, she actually stuff blocks that ball and she is just thrilled. We are tied at seven. 
first set, serving Uyato. Godfrey sets up Gray, little touch. And late getting there is Uyato from the backcourt. From the back row, couldn't materialize with the hit. 8 serving 7. Nikki Taylor. And there is a huge hole in this block. Uyato with the perfect set to Taylor. The middle blocker late getting out, putting a big puka in that block. We are tied at 8, and this first set has been tied 8 times. Longo serving. Dug up by Roberson. Down the middle comes Haddock. Saved in the back row. They again go to the corner. And that time it was Olival. What a great save. You see two defensive players getting that ball and a quick set to the outside. Manu Olival pounding that ball. Longo serves. Line drives it over. Robertson, Godfrey. Here's Gray. Gray right through the double block. Gray really has a quick whipper snapper of an arm. Again, you mentioned earlier she had 27 kills last night in 72 attempts. So we're tied at nine. Serving is Godfrey. That ball is hit perfectly right down the middle by Emily Hartong. I have to agree. Perfectly hit by Emily Hartong on that ball. It's her first kill on the evening. Hawaii now leads 10 to 9. A ball hit into the net by Mendoza. Tied at 10. And I'd have to say that you're going to see these teams start serving a little bit tougher if they went back and forth so far, tying it up here at 10. Tia Withers Welly serving. Mendoza, Uyato, that comes across the court but out on the hit by Emily Hartung. And now BYU teeter totters into the lead. They lead 11 10. Therein is Welling. Ball comes over. There's Uyato way outside. And the ball hit the antenna. It was a bad pass that time. Bad set. And BYU leads by two. It is said the team that passes the best in this match will win it. Back up by Longo. Uyato goes to the corner again. That ball is in on the kill shot by Emily Hartong. What I really like about this is that Uyato goes right back to her, gives her a great set, gives her enough room off away from the blocker's hand so she can slice and dice that ball. 11 serving 12. Nikki Taylor serves. The ball popped in the air by Parker. Overpass. And it is hit off the block. And Hartung did not. Hartung did get it down that time. Well, that was right up at the net. She really snuck that ball in between the net and the blockers. We're tied at 12. Taylor serves again. Godfrey, that ball is off the block on the hit. Wiato goes outside again. It's Hartung. Hartung hit that ball right by Jardine. And Hawaii, they tiptoe into the lead, 13 to 12. Taylor serves again. Cross court. There's Mendoza. Taylor. But Mendoza puts it into the net. They're tied at 13. I actually think uh, Nikki Taylor didn't realize that Mendoza was middle but back and set her. Parker will serve for BYU. Hartung Uyato back to Hartung. Double block is up. Little roll shot. That's in. And Hartung just so savvy there on the outside. She's been banging away the first few balls. Banging, banging, and then she's mixing it up. She's got the defense all back on their heels. Hawaii leads 14-13 in the first set. Serving will be Lele Pali. Crowd quiets. All comes over. There's Welling overpass. 
and hammered down by Hartong. And that play made possible by Lele Pauli coming in and doing a great job serving. Away, he leads by two, 15-13. Timeout, what a match so far. Let's take a look at the Kaiser Permanente keys to the match. So for Hawaii, really, it's just to get around the block. Uh, they're the sixth best blocking team in the nation. And for BYU, they need to serve and they need to pass. And so far, they've been doing a pretty good job of that. Their ball control is going to get them in this match. 15-13, Hawaii with a two-point lead. Let's take a look at the Poncho Solar Power Play of the match. Mele Pali serving. And the overpass, and that ball just hammered down by Emily Hartung. Serving again, the ball by Welling, Godfrey, and blocked, solo block that time by Adolfo. And now it went down, now they say it went down in front of Adolfo. Oh, I thought she, all, she had that. It looked like she stuffed blocking, exactly. So it's 15-14. Serving will be Roberson. Back up by Mendoza. Ball is hit over Parker with a good dig. Parker gets it across. Hawaii with the advantage. Uyato goes cross court again to Emily Hartung. That's out. And we are tied at 15. A little confusion in the call. Hawaii questioning our Emily Hartung coming over to ask. The line judge on their side of the court called the ball in. So we're tied at 15 in the first set. Roberson to serve. Received by Mendoza. Uyato back set coming up from the back row is Taylor. Godfrey goes outside to Haddock off the block. Godfrey with the save. There's Parker. Haddock again. Haddock is dug up in the back row by Mendoza. Ball is hit over by Emily Hartung. Haddock again. This time she is successful. Haddock. And last night's match perhaps was the difference in the late play against Arizona State. I'd have to agree with you, definitely the difference. She has a way of just moving that ball around. True competitor so far this evening with three kills. Roberson serving again. Dug up by Hartung, and the dump shot works. Dump shot works by Uyato. We are tied at 16. Serving. Is Hartung. Pick up by Roberson. Godfrey tries to dump, and that is saved by Adolfo. But the block is right there for him on the hit by Taylor. The double block by BYU. They lead 17 16. Haddock will go back to serve now for Brigham Young. Gray has come into the front row for Brigham Young. Ball hit over, dug up by Parker. Joust at the net. Ball comes over. That is saved. Hit by Gray. That is saved again by Taylor. They go cross court. Little touch. Block back. Saved by Olibao. And the ball is hit down by Adolfo on that short set by Uyato. Nikki Taylor spreading it out, playing some great defense. Hartong setting it up. And the finish, Mita Uyato banging it down into the deep corner. We're tied at 17. Uyato serves. Back up by Haddock. Here's Gray. That's in. Gray over the double block by Hawaii. Only Bao is in that double block along with Adolfo. So it is 18-17. Brigham Young getting to the crucial moments now of this first set. And these two teams have played exactly even. Robertson serves, waiting. Uyato, short set. Adolfo is blocked back. 
They go to Oliveira, saved by Longo, Uyata. And that ball is into the net by Adolfo. It is 19 to 17. BYU with just a snippet of breathing room. Hawaii calls a timeout. The series record is sponsored by Aston Hotels and Resorts. Hawaii leads the series 17 to 5, the last meeting on the 5th of December 2003. And Hawaii winning in straight sets. Here, it's 1917 in the first set, BYU leading by two. The Shamanant will serve. Ten kills last night against Arizona State. Ball hit over by Hartong. Advantage BYU. Here's Gray. That's down. That double block is ineffective. Twice in a row now. Adolfo and Olibao. Hawaii Blake. can afford. Hawaii can afford no more slippage. Lashamanant serving again. Uyato goes cross court, and that ball is hit down the line. In by Nikki Taylor. And a much necessary side out and point by Nikki Taylor. They needed that point. With too many points given away. Poor pass, and they've got to settle down and play ball control. Longo looking for tenure as she serves. She wants to be at that service line for a long time. Gray again, little touch, it's in. Gray is just playing with the Hawaii double block. She really is. She sees it so well. It's a huge block. You've got Worcester and Taylor, Nikki Taylor up there. That's a huge block. So she's either swinging if she sees an open spot or tipping. Serving is Godfrey. Longo finally end up with Nikki Taylor. She just powers the ball through the block. Powers the ball uh, through Young and Jardine. So it's 21 to 19. Hawaii needs to catch up, and they've got to catch up now. The way this set has gone, how even it has been played. With a slight advantage now, Brigham Young. The ball took up by Jardine. Jardine with it, that's blocked right back by Nikki Taylor. Good solo block by Nikki Taylor. And Taylor just posting a very low and tight block for a great stuff block and a critical point. So Brigham Young thought they had an open door on that side of the court. But not this time. Let's take a look at the American Savings Bank tournament brackets. You see Hawaii against BYU in the battle for Sweet 16. USC has advanced with the victory over Northridge. In Seattle, Washington has advanced with a victory over LSU. That was a hard-fought victory. Kansas has advanced with a victory over Creighton. That's in the Los Angeles regional upper bracket. Let's go to Ryan Suji. Hey, thanks, Jim. Well, during the timeout, Dave showed you talking to his team. Interesting to note that Hawaii is running out of substitution. So watch here. They're going to have a Taimanu Olival come back into the game for Sam Mendoza, but we may see Jade Worcester have to serve because of Hawaii's lack of substitutions that they have left. We'll see how the coaching staff decides to use the remaining substitutions for the remaining players. Back to you. 21-20. Brigham Young, Hawaii looking to tie with this serve. See Mendoza. Mendoza gets it in. Back up by Haddock. Godfrey. Ball hit over by Jardine. And that's in. 
Jardine really getting a hold of that ball. She's doing a nice job. She's got a great set, a big seam in the block. Forster a little late getting outside. Here's Welling, 22-20. Brigham Young. Dug up by Mendoza. They go to Emily Hartong, and she just rifles that ball off Parker. 21 serving 22. Nikki Taylor will serve for Hawaii. Taylor gets it in. Just gets it over. Hawaii struggles a bit with it. They go again to Emily Hartong, dug up by Parker. Godfrey outside the Haddock, and that's blocked out. Blocked out by Uyato. Haddock just hitting high into the hands of Uyato, forcing the ball out, tooling the block. 23-21, Brigham Young first set. Parker to serve. Hartong, that's blocked. There's Haddock. Godfrey back to Haddock, double block is up. And that ball goes. I don't think the double block. Oh, they're going to say that it is off the block, that it was touched. So now it is set point for Brigham Young. Hawaii calls a timeout. These two teams have battled each other even, 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 even all the way up. And finally, BYU has been able to get the breathing room that they wanted. They've been playing great. They're serving a little bit tougher. Hawaii's doing a great job as well, but BYU just getting one up on them. Look for the coaching staff for the Wahine right now to mix it up a little bit on the plays. Talking to them, we've got to get number one, the first pass. So Hawaii's been having to play lately a little off balance here, struggling, trying to get the right pass. And they're going more and more to Emily Hartong. With uh, 14 attempts so far, and right behind her, Nikki Taylor. Uh, I think they'll probably go back to Hartong, but they might mix it up, maybe pull her in a little bit and do something a little different. They are getting a little bit predictable, and she's got, again, the number six blocking team in the nation. They block very well, this BYU team. So BYU, they have an appetite for this first set. They can see it. 24 to 21, they beat it. Hawaii really pushed to the precipice here. Their only hope is to come back with a minor miracle and steal this first set. Parker will serve, and she will serve for the first set. Received by Longo. Uyato. The ball is off the block by Emily Harkin. They go to Haddock. That's saved by Mendoza. Ball is hit over by Taylor, but long. BYU wins the first set in this game to get to the Sweet 16. 25-21. OC Sports, presented on Oceanic Time Order Cable, is sponsored by Bank of Hawaii. And Kaiser Permanente. Gray doing another fabulous job for her team with five kills, hitting at 400. Again, so smart, doing everything, blocking as well for her team and mixing it up, that little drop shot over the top, really catching the defense back. Alexa Gray, really their go-to girl. BYU has taken the first step, running 25-21 over Hawaii. They have been more solid, they're passing has been a little bit better. And their hitting percentage, as you pointed out, hitting at 371, Hawaii at 244 in game one. 
Uyato will serve. Hawaii has to come back. And they have to come back against a very disciplined team. Uyato to serve to begin the second set. Like by Parker, there's another attempt at dunk shot saved by Uyato with the pancake. Ball is hit to the outside by La Chemin. And Oliva hits it right into the block, and that block was personified by Godfrey. And it's a great pancake up on the defense. Here we laying it out, Mita Uyato. No and then a nice block, but a very playable ball. Hartong could have gotten that ball, I believe. Uyato sets up Olibao. Olibao just hammers it into a double block, an ironclad double block. That time Gray was there, along with Young. 2 nothing. Brigham Young. Olibao, Hartong, Olibao with the roll shot. The Shamanan. That ball comes over by Gray, dug up by Longo, hit over by Adolfo on that short set. And that's exactly what I think the Rainbow Wahine need to do more of. Continue to get Adolfo involved offensively. More of the middle attacks. One serving two, Longo to serve again. Longo gets it over. Here's Godfrey. That ball is hit over by Young, saved by Longo. Forster gets a hand on it. Haddock, Emily Hartong. They go right to Taylor, and Taylor hits it into a brick wall. And you can see why Brigham Young is in the top 10 and blocking in the country. Well, they set right into the biggest part of the court. Alexa Gray, the 6'2 sophomore, just stuffed that ball. Top three serving. Longo, Uyato. The ball goes cross court and it is dug up by Gray, comes over the net and is good on the Hawaii side. So Nikki Taylor getting the hit, but it backfired. Longo, Uyato, down the middle comes Emily Hartung. That ball is dug up by Parker, saved by Gray. Parker gets it across. Hawaii with the advantage. Uyato to Olibao. Olibao hits it long. Things are going very wrong for Hawaii now. Coach Soji going for a substitution, trying to mix things up. Olibao goes out and coming in for Hawaii is Ashley Castle, the transfer from Arizona State. Serving as Godfrey. Dug up again by Longo. Uyato goes outside. That angle shot is dug up by Gray. Ball comes back over and goes off Uyato. BYU just dominating now. Everything is going their way. Timeout is called. Hawaii's got to find some answers. They are down 6-1 in the second set. I just timed my new personal best for approving my customer's home equity line. Way to go. <laughs> Fast approvals, amazing rates at American Savings Bank. From Hilo to Hanalei and all points in between, Napa Auto Parts has been serving the people of Hawaii since 1955. We've got the state's largest inventory of parts and accessories. So whether you're a weekend mechanic or just need some help changing a wiper blade, stop by and see us. We'll get you back on the road in no time. And while you're there, get five quarts of Castro GTX conventional motor oil and a Napa silver filter for just $20.99. Napa Auto Parts, helping to keep Hawaii on the move. The amazing thing isn't that they're smiling. It's that they're smiling about their bank. We really like it when you smile. You need tickets to an upcoming UH contest. Visit HawaiiAthletics.com. Call 
2697 or visit the Stan Sheriff Center box office. Three easy ways to get your seats for exciting UH sports action. Hawaii is down one set to none, losing the first set 25 to 21. And in the second set, they are now down six to one. Godfrey continues to serve for Brigham Young. Longo again. Forster. Longo, a good pass to Uyato and then to Forster. And Forster got some power on it. And Borster with her third kill in three attempts, doing a nice job. Again, Hawaii offensively struggling right now, hitting at 137 as a team. Mendoza goes back to serve for Hawaii. Two serving six, crowd quiets again. Mendoza gets it over, popped in the air. Ball is hit over and then blocked to the side. That is in, and that, wait, let's see. That's out. That's out. And so it's seven to two. Welling. Going for the deep floater. Little miscommunication. There, Sarah Mendoza and Nick Taylor not communicating well on that ball. At it's all. it's eight two. Brigham Young. Hawaii in deep trouble here. Forster gets it across, it's stuck up in the back row. Parker chases it down. Ball is hit over by Haddock. Forster again. Short set again by Oyato. Like three. Forster is the only player that's effective. Absolutely. Keep going to her while it's working. Nikki Taylor serving. We got by Parker, Godfrey. That ball is hit long. Cross court. Long by Haddock. So Hawaii cuts the lead in half. There are four points down here in the second set. Nikki Taylor to serve again. Waiting for it is Godfrey. Getting the ball over the top is Young. Ball is hit by Emily Hartung. Returned by Haddock. Back up by Mendoza in the back row. Ball hit by Taylor. Here's Haddock again, that's in. Right through the Mutton Jeff, a double block that time of Forster and Uyato. And Haddock continues to seem to find the little holes in the seam. There is definitely a seam there for her seventh kill on the evening. Serving this Parker. Dug up again by Longo. Uyato. Ball hit by Hart on cross court. Dug up by Haddock. And then uh, the juggle. They juggle by Jardine. So it is 9-5 in favor of Brigham Young here in this second set. Lelipali comes in to serve for Hawaii. Hawaii trying to find the right key for the lock. And they haven't done it yet in this second set. Lelipali serving. Godfrey, short set. And getting the ball over is Le Cheminant. 10-5. BYU has doubled up on Hawaii here in the second set. Roberson has come in to serve. That's dug up by... Hawaii hit over by Emily Hartung. Good rolling dig by Longo, and then Hartung rolls it off the block. And Longo played some great defense in that rally. Hartung hitting high off the hand. Lisa gets it right out to her, low and quick. Castle comes into the front row, along with Adolfo, and along with Uyato. Serving will be Hartung. Hawaii trailing by four. Second set. Hartung gets it in. That ball dug up by Wheeling. The ball is hit over by Lachemana. On a really step up move that was perfect. From Godfrey to Lachemana. 11 6, Brigham Young. Hawaii desperately trying to make a comeback run here. Haddock serves. 
That ball hit over by Nikki Taylor, saved by Haddock in the back row. They go to Gray. That's dug up by Hartung. Uyato outside and getting the ball down and in finally is Ashley Castle. Castle has waited a long time to have an opportunity like tonight. She sure has, and she always seems to come in and bring a ton of emotion with her. Seven, serving 11. Uyato. Uyato gets it in, dug up by Roberson. Godfrey step out, move again, let Shaman on. Get that ball over Castle. Hawaii had only one block up. Only one block, and she used the hand hitting off the hands of Castle on that play. Le Cheminant is just so savvy. She's very, she's just stellar. She doesn't celebrate too much. She's just here for business. Hawaii trailing now 12 to 7 in the second set. Le Cheminant to serve. Emily Hartung, Uyato. Outside it goes to Nikki Taylor. And Taylor is able to bounce it off the block and get it to the tariff line. Taylor with five kills. So Longo will serve. Trying to play catch up here. They go outside to Gray. And Gray gets it inside the double block and on the floor before Longo could get to it. 13 to wait. UIU still with that very solid five point lead. Serving will be Godfrey. Castle. Uyato has to chase it down on the bad pass. They play patty cake at the net. Double hit is called on Nikki Taylor. And it's now 14 to wait, a six point lead. And Hawaii takes a step backwards. And BYU continues its domination. Godfrey serving. Castle shanks it, chased down by Uyato. Castle comes back, and Castle is blocked. Ali Ba will come back in for Castle. Serving is Godfrey, 15, serving eight. Forster over the middle, comes back. Forster keeps it alive. Then Uyato, that ball hit over by Emily Hartung. Gray, roll shot. Uyato comes up to save it. Longo is there to go to Olivao, and Olivao is just rejected. 16-8, the BYU block is becoming insurmountable. Timeout has been called. Hawaii trailing badly. Why are you losing the first set if you just joined us? 25 to 21. But here in the second set, it has got very dire because BYU is out to a 16 to 8 lead. And their play has been semi impeccable. And BYU's block again. We've known it from the get go. They're sixth in the nation, and they are putting on a blocking clinic right now. Hawaii. We talked about it in keys to the max. They've got to get around that block. Stop trying to challenge the block and get around it. Godfrey to serve. Just over the net. There's Longo back pass. Another point for BYU. Everything is going BYU's way. Five straight points now for BYU. They lead 17 to 8. Ball is hit by Emily Hartung, and that is off the block. So that's a point for Hawaii at 17 to 9. Mendoza will come in to serve for Hawaii. Taps at the cross. The Sheminon, three. And that ball hit over by Young. Whitney, Whitney Young, only a freshman, the freshman of the year in their conference, really having a great year and a great match tonight. 18 to serving nine in the second set. Forster hits it, and Forster hits it out. 
Biggest lead. 19 to 9. Double digits. And Doza overpass. Doza with the saves as it comes back. Outside it goes, and the big hit by Emily Hartzog. Got it in front of Jardine and Young. And Emily Hartong really putting on the heat, feeling some sense of urgency here. Oh, you're making all kinds of changes now. Caleb Goodman comes in, and serving is Taylor Higgins. Ball comes off the block, went off of Borster, and then down. 20 to 10. I'll tell you what this crowd is, is thinking now. What is going on? I can't believe this. But Hawaii really getting drilled by BYU here in the second set. That ball comes back again, but it's elbow saved by Forster that time. That ball is hit by Gray, dug up by Longo, and a point. It's getting the ball down with Emily Hartong. Emily Longo just getting low on this ball. Perfect dig. Higgins going against the flow and back to Hartong for a great set and, a, again, a much-needed point playing catch-up right now. Lily Polly will serve for Hawaii 11, serving 20. Got three. With Shemin on. 21 to 11. Ford for getting ready to come back in. Or is she? So uh, she just represents that this is what we're going to do, which is kind of a stupid thing. <laughs> it's the libero thing. Twenty-one to eleven. Serving is Roberson. Higgins. Ball is set over, and that will be returned by Brigham Young. Back set. Let's shut down. Good step out, working again. Hawaii is very porous at the corners. Shevanat on the step out, again, having her way. She's having a fabulous night with five kills and eight attempts. Serving is Roberson. Dug up by Mendoza. Higgins. And a good straight shot that time by Emily Hartong. Another kill for Hartong. 22 to 12, however. BYU closing in on the second set. Olival comes in for Mendoza. Serving will be Emily Hartong. That's stuck up by Parker. Step out again. Shemanot, this time Hawaii handles it with the block. Chased down by Higgins. Olival hits it off the block. Hits it off to Shemanot. So it's 22 to 13. Serving. Will be hard on. Serves it out. Our tongue with 12 kills in this game now. 23 to 13. BYU leading by 10. Serving this Haddock. Higgins. Adolfo. Little attack. And that play made possible by a perfect pass by Hartong. If they can pass on target, man, they can run the middle as much as they want. But the passing has truly broken down here in game two. 23 to 14. Hawaii is two points away from getting into that situation where the only way they can win the match is to go to five games. Riato well, comes back into the game. Godfrey. Ball hit by Gray, but blocked back. Gray tries it again. Saved by Longo after going off the block. Down the middle. Hartong, and she's able to scoop 
squeeze it between the block and the netting. 23 to 15. Last year, Hawaii ended their NCAA run in the second round. Beaten in five by Washington at Washington. Step out again with Shaman on. And that ball is blocked by Olifau. She was able to roll the ball over the net and down on the other side. 23-16. Wiato. Timeout has been uh, called by uh, Brigham Young. Brigham Young has seen signs of life at the other end of the court, so right away they call a timeout. Absolutely, and I think it's a smart timeout by Sean Olmsted. There you see the young coach just trying to slow his team down, slow the momentum down. Actually, Hawaii's starting to get in a little bit of a rhythm. Hawaii's got to find something because they lost for a very tightly played first set until it got up to about the 20 plateau. Then BYU established breathing room and then playing room, and then they were able to win it. But Hawaii is just not spurred in this second set. They have been battered. And Dave Soji and staff continue to try to find the right combination. We've seen lots of different people coming in and out, trying to get the rhythm back, trying to establish what they can do to salvage this year game number two. Ryan, are you there? Yeah, Jim. Well, the BYU coaching staff talking to the setter, not too happy about the set location. So nice higher set to Alexa Gray. Meanwhile, on the Hawaii sideline, Adley Longo really taking charge of the team, talking to the team, saying, we just want to continue to build momentum. One point out of Hawaii, trying to string as many points together right now. Back to you. They have a gargantuan job to do. This is, as using the cliche, Dawn team. 16 serving 23 in the second set. Hawaii already down, one set to none. Oyato to serve. This crowd has not given up yet. Oyato just gets it over, dug up by Parker. Godfrey goes to Gray and that's a block again. Adolfo is there along with Nikki Taylor. And this is when you want to watch out for her little tip that she does right over the top, Alexa Gray. Wiato to serve again. Dug up again by Parker, here's Godfrey. Again they go to Gray, and Gray hits it right through that block, or on the inside of it at least. Right by Longo, that ball showed up in a hurry, and it was off the court and in. Set point, second set. Uyato down the middle. Comes Hartong. That will be returned. Godfrey, little touch by Gray. That goes over the block and down. And BYU dominates Hawaii in the second set. Puts Hawaii into that deep, dark corner where the only way that they can win the match is to go to five games. 25 17 are the number. Welcome back, everybody. Let's take a look at the McDonald's match stats. Here, you can take a look at the numbers. It's really interesting that Hawaii has more kills, but the bottom line is, when we look at the percentage, there are 192. BYU way out in front at 353 and the blocks. Again, we talked about it all night, the blocking of BYU, excellent blocking. Again, we'd like to see Hawaii serve a little bit tougher. They are not serving as tough as they did last night. They had, what, 11 service aces, I believe. But Hawaii really going to have to show some tenacity right now and see what they're made of, their character. Yeah, because right now, the only way that they can win this match is to take it to five. And the only way you get to five is one set at a time. A Chaminant, who has had a good match so far for Brigham Young, looking through the net. Hawaii in danger now, as Emily Hartung looks back. Danger now being swept on their home floor in the NCAA tournament. That's not good. And a little change in their rotation and their starting positions. Mito Uyato starting in the front row this time on serve receive with Hartong on the left. Havoc. Tambray Havoc from Longmont, Colorado serves. 
Emily Hartong. It's dug up by Haddock, overpass. Hartong, Uyato, back to Hartong. Double block is up. That ball saved by Mendoza. Ball is hit over by Taylor. Saved by Parker. Here's Gray, left-handed. Away having trouble. And Gray, let's see. It could be a net violation or over the top, reaching over the top. And you know, that's exactly what Hawaii needed was a little bit of a break here right now. Great defense by Nikki Taylor, left-handed up, but Gray reaching over. You cannot attack the ball on this other side of the net. Longo serving. Dug up by Parker. Godfrey again. Godfrey every time on that first point tries the, the uh, dump shot. And you know what? She's successful because Jade Forrester is not honoring her. She's in the front row and she's a setter. Jade's got to commit and go with her. Le Chaminant serving for Brigham Young. Hartong. Dug up by Haddock. Godfrey. Here's Gray. Longo saves it. Longo saves it again. Advantage, Brigham Young. Godfrey to Gray, right through the double block. That Mutton Jeff double block, the tall one. Forster and the shorter one. Uyato. Longo with a great defensive dig, and on the end, Gray just right through the seam of the block. Mendoza, Uyato. Forster just gets it over. Forster tries to hit it again, but that is a double hit. And coming into the game for Forster is going to be Tui Ninga. Christiana Tui Ninga from Carson, California. She comes in for Forster. 3-1, Brigham Young. Hartong. Hartong able to challenge the block. Young was there. Godfrey was there. And so was the ball. 3-2. Brigham Young here in the third set. Away needs to take it to five. Uyato serves. Back up by Roberson. Here's Godfrey. That ball hit over by Young. Mendoza is there. Uyato. Ball is hit over and down by Nikki Taylor. And now those are the kind of plays that we are used to seeing the Rainbow Wahine do. Unbelievable set by Mita Uyato and Nikki Taylor just drilling that ball down. Tied at three. Uyato. Took something off that time. Young, Godfrey, Gray, dug up by Longo. Chased down by Uyato. The ball is hit over by Emily Hartung. And again by Young. Good save by Mendoza. And again Longo. And again Hartung. Ball hit over again by Gray. Saved by Mendoza. Hartung. Double block was up and waiting. And just a true battle out here. Some incredible defense by Mendoza. Just Hawaii scrambling. And a quick set to the outside by Hartung. A little low for her and a little tight. Godfrey serving. Four serving three. Back up by Longo. Uyato short set. That ball hit over by three. Ninga. Gray. Back up by Longo. Uyato. And hitting cross court and out is Nikki Taylor. Taylor has had some trouble tonight keeping the ball in the court. 5 3. Brigham Young leading by two. Godfrey serving again. The ball shanked to the side by Hartung. Saved by Uyato. Hartung gets it over. Here's Parker. Parker to Gray. Off the double block. BYU now leading by three. And Gray doing what she has been doing well all night long, using the block, hitting high off of the hands. Godfrey continues to serve off the tape for an ace. It has been a celebratory night for Brigham Young. They lead in the third set, seven to three. They win this set. They win this match. Away in deep trouble. That's to say the least. 
This is the third set. They've lost the first two. BYU already with a four-point lead in set number three. Hawaii has tried all kinds of combinations, switching out the middles. And BYU, BYU just continues to be steady. I'm sorry, go ahead. And interestingly enough, BYU back on the court just waiting for the Rainbow Wahine after the timeout, just waiting here, waiting with the ball in hand. Truly like Cougars. Yeah, they're just ready for the attack. Come on, guys, we're ready to keep this going here. Hawaii is becoming prey. After he's starting again, Oyato. That goes off Gray, and that will be blocked back. The block actually went back at Emily Hartong and came off of her. Eight to three. Away starting to fade. A ball hit over by uh, three Nika. Away has got to do something with the middle attack that has just been. Just forms of life. They're, just on life support. Very little production out of the middle and out of the outsides besides Emily Hartong tonight. For serving eight. Serving is hard time. Dug up by Haddock. Godfrey. Young. Young puts it off Longo. Just continues. And interestingly enough, Godfrey was the setter, was not even recruited. She's a transfer from a city college. Welling serving. Dug up by Longo. Outside. And hitting the ball over is hitting the ball over was Manu Olival. It's saved and returned. Haddock, Godfrey, Haddock, Longo with the save. Uyato down the middle. Comes Emily Hartong, hits it off Parker. BYU. Nine five, Hawaii cuts the lead to four. BYU just unbelievable hustle here in this last rally. Diving into the stands. So far, it's been their night. Kawamura has come in now to serve. Godfrey back serve. The ball hit over. Hit over by Jardine, but it goes out. That's a point for Hawaii. It's now 9 6. Hawaii has cut the lead to three. That was a circus act at <laughs> that point. Howard Mora serves it again. Parker from her knees. Godfrey, that ball hit over by Young. Godfrey just making it look so simple. She really gets up and has a great connection in the middle here with Whitney Young. Parker to serve. That ball shanked. That's saved by Uyato. Advantage, Brigham Young had it. That's eight kills for Haddock. 11 6. Hawaii had cut it to three. BYU inchworms away to a five point lead. Parker serves. Dug up by Hartung Uyato outside. That ball hit the antenna, I believe. Yes. Hit the antenna. Olibao trying to get it over. Rainbow Wahine call a timeout, and you can see now the emotion and the frustration as they start to stare at the floor. Let's check out how it works, presented by Central Pacific Bank. So taking a quick look here on the dig off of Sarah Mendoza. Check out Mita Uyato flying that ball back to Nikki Taylor for the kill. And I'll tell you what, Mita Uyato is so quick with her feet. You take a look at this, she's going one way and sends the ball the exact opposite, faking the blockers and giving Nikki Taylor the perfect set. This is our last night enjoying Uyato. Remember how good she has been. Oyato outside. That ball hit her and down by Olivao. Olivao gets it down in front of Parker. And it is seven for Hawaii, 12 for BYU. BYU wins this set. They win the match and they end the season for the Rainbow Wahine.
Knuckleballs it over. Haddock. There's Godfrey. That ball is hit over by Jardine. And this time, that could have been off the block. Definitely on that off hit, the block. On that hit by Olival. Definitely off the block. Very smart play by Olival. Eight serving 12. Serving is Nikki Taylor. Haddock, Godfrey. So BYU gets the point. Middle attack, Lashemana. 13 to 8 in favor of BYU here in the third set. Serving will be Roberson. He had one kill last night against Arizona State. That's an ace. That just died in front of Hartung. Hartung now goes to the top official. She's complaining about something. She's asking about the screening. She's saying that the BYU players are too close together and she can't see the server. Robertson serves. Longo chased down Uyato. Olival, that's dug up. Haddock, good double block there. Adolfo and Uyato. Haddock again, Adolfo keeps it alive. Chased down by Uyato. Here comes Emily Hartung. That ball is dug in the air by Welling. Hit over by Haddock. Rally continues. They go to Olival. That's a block. Olival follows the ball down with her. Biggest lead of this third set by Brigham Young. They lead 15 to 8. Roberson ready to serve. The ball hit over by Adolfo. That'll be returned. Parker handled it. There's Haddock right through the double block again. Adolfo and Uyato. Hawaii double blocks have just been, I mean, they've been porous. Very porous, getting through the block constantly. They're not low and tight to the net. 16 to 8. BYU has doubled up on Hawaii, and they're closing in on what could be a very, very difficult night for Hawaii fans. Step up, Adolfo. It works. That is a play that I, I would hope they would try to continue to use. Kalea Dolfo on that step out has been almost unstoppable all year. The ball dug up on that serve by Welling. We'll get it over. Longo Uyato, and again, let's say that was hit by Adolfo, but it went out. Ben Jay, the athletic director, is in the aisle wanting this crowd to pump up. That ball is blocked. Good diving dig by Gray after the hit by Hartung. Hartung gets another chance, and she pounds it off the block this time. Seventeen ten. BYU. Here in the third set. Longo serving. They tried the dump shot. Doesn't work by Godfrey. There's a hit again by Hartong, and they call it out. Eighteen to ten. Brigham Young in the third set. You look at the determination of Hartong. Hartung to Uya, Uyato, back set. That ball is hit over. That's stuck up by Roberson. There again is Taylor. Step out. Adolfo chased down the, by uh, Le Charonnet. And that ball is blocked out after the hit by Gray. When Mingo was there along with Uyato. 19 to 10. Biggest lead by BYU in the third set. They have dominated all night. A 
that ball comes down. And that is in. And Emily Hartung with 16 kills with an exclamation mark on that. She is really working hard to hold her team in this match. 19 to 11. Liato serves. Dug up by Roberson. Here's Godfrey. Gray with the touch that's blocked back by Taylor. Gray again. And she gets it done. BYU is at the plateau. They're at 20. So they look down and they see a, sir, a real terrific lead. You can see a hit by Gray. Gray with 13 kills. The ball is hit over by Taylor, dug up by Parker. Haddock hits it. Good save by Longo. Uyato, the ball, Emily Hartung. Dug up by Godfrey, here's Parker. Gray hits it, double blocked back. The ball is saved by Young. Gray hits it again, and it's blocked back by Hartung and Tuaninga. Block. They're very sealed and they're tight to the net for a stuff block for point number 12. <laughs> 20 to 12. Hartung serves. Godfrey, ball is hit by Jardine. Many weapons. 21 to 12, BYU is closing in on a tremendous sweep. Ending the season for the Rainbow Wahine. Ending the dream in the NCAA tournament. And ending it by a sweep on their home floor. Down the middle, again, comes Hartung, saved by Parker. Haddock, that's blocked back by Tui Ninga. Haddock again, that's blocked, but out. This time by Nikki Taylor, 22 to 12. And BYU just keeps hammering away and hammering away. Biggest lead, they lead now by 10. Away, Tuiminga gets it over. Parker, Godfrey, back set. They go outside the Jardine, saved by Longo. That ball comes over and they say that's down. That's down by Nikki Taylor. 20, 22 to 13. Seven kills for Nikki Taylor. A little silent offensively tonight, hitting it at 0%. Kayla Kawamura has come in, and she will serve for Hawaii. That ball hit down by Young. So it's 23 to 13. Hawaii is two points away from elimination. And the Knights at Malone. Parker to serve. Dug up by Longo. Longo again has played her heart out. And again, so has Hartung. Pancake dig by Parker. Haddock gets it across. And Adolfo tries to get it down. It's 24 to 13. And she is blocked back. This is Matt Point. BYU fans, a smattering of them, standing across the way. Serving this Parker. That's dug up. Down the middle. And that comes over after the hit by Emily Hartong. Had it. That's blocked. But out. And Brigham Young sweeps Hawaii out of the NCAA tournament. And on their own floor. It is, let's face it, a disappointing, sad night. But credit to Brigham Young. They played impeccable volleyball. Time now for the Fujitsu air conditioning cool play of the match. Here you see the scramble group by BYU, the set from the back row and pounding away on game point to sweep the Rainbow Wahine in their home court. 
BYU just played unbelievable tonight. They were running on all cylinders. Let's go to Dan. All right, Jim, thank you, Coach. It was just one, one of those nights BYU played almost flawlessly. Well, we clearly didn't have it tonight, and uh, got to give them credit. You know, they just, uh, every phase of the game, they outplayed us. There will be a lot of time to reflect on this match, but just looking back over the season, I know with that win against Texas and the seven seniors that brought you so much joy, it's a very difficult group to say it's over with. Well, it is because uh, we've just had a stress-free uh, uh, season, kind of, and uh, the seniors were really terrific and brought a lot to the, you know, to the state and the university. Today. I just can't thank him enough, but uh, you know, it's disappointing. Great crowd tonight, and uh, we just didn't have it. Well, this crowd thanks you and thanks the Wahine, and uh, we hope the future right. brings great things. I'm thank sure it will. Right. Thank you, Head Coach Dave Shoji. We'll send it back to you, Jim, Lisa. Thanks, Dash. I mean, just imagine the pain that that coach is going through right now, all the work that he's done. That's the way it is. We'll be back. Back of Hawaii now presents the players of the match. Alexa Gray had 13 kills. And uh, Emily Hartung, again, playing and doing all that she could do. She had 17 kills in the loss. Uh, this is the first time Hawaii has uh, endured a three-set loss. In sets two and three, their scores of 17 and 13 are the lowest that they ever produced in a match. So as Coach Shoji said, they just didn't have it. And the other team played more than well. I have to agree. They played, they played fabulous. They put a lot of pressure. They came in and they took control right from the get-go. And the Rainbow Haney were playing catch-up all night long. Well, this crowd is still here, possibly because of the traffic, but also because they are stunned by what they watched tonight on this floor. NCAA tournament. Everyone had said, boy, if Hawaii could only host. Well, they did. BYU came in with a superior team and a superior performance. Thanks for watching, everybody. I want to thank our crew. I want to thank everybody associated with 016 Sports. Their hearts are in it. Stay tuned now for the post-game report.